Hey everyone, it's Camille here, and I'm gonna show you how to best share your screen on a video conference while also using Vodium. First and foremost, make sure to not share your entire desktop. That will allow your audience to see that you're using the app. But you can use Vodium while sharing a specific browser, window, or tab, an application like Adobe PDF, and even PowerPoint. For whatever you're sharing, make sure to not automatically maximize it. For example, if you maximize a browser window, Vodium won't be able to remain on top. So manually expand the window by clicking on the outer corners and drag it out as much as you can. Now, when you're using Vodium while sharing a presentation, we always stress to try to get a teammate to share their screen so you can focus on nailing your virtual communication. But if that's not the case, here are a few ways to share your slides. If your slides don't have any videos or transitions, then download the slides into a PDF and you can simply share the Adobe application or the PDF as a browser tab. We suggest this for Google Slides and Keynote since they don't allow Vodium to remain on top while presenting. But PowerPoint now allows you to also use Vodium while in presenter's view. If you're on a Mac computer, open up the app, get your notes or script situated, and then open up your PowerPoint. Go to Slideshow and then click on presenter's view. You'll have to be multitasking between controlling PowerPoint and Vodium, so practice and prep beforehand. And for Windows computers, you follow similar steps. You go to Slideshow, you go to Play from Beginning, then you go to the lower left corner and press the three dots, and then go to Presenters View. Then go through your slides as usual. We also get a lot of questions on how to use Vodium while using two computer screens. The beauty of the app is that it sits on top of all open windows or applications, meaning you can compile everything on one screen. But if you feel more comfortable having Vodium on your main screen and your presentation on the second, just be proactive and let your audience know that you're using two screens since you may be periodically looking away from them while controlling your slides on the second screen that doesn't have the camera. Now, I hope you go and crush your next virtual meeting or presentation. Thanks for tuning into Studio Vodium. Cheers.